This YCN segment is brought to you by M.J. Harrington and Company, jewelers and designers since 1948. 5'11", a senior, number 30, Meg Roy. Last Tuesday night, the Stevens girls basketball team hoped to take some revenge against the Cougars from Kearsarge, who had beat them back on December 11th. To start this one off, however, it was the hosts who built an early lead. Cougars freshman Caroline Camp began the scoring with an and one near the hoop and with a long three from beyond the perimeter. Lone senior Meg Roy was also key as she threw in an impressive eight points in the first quarter alone with a great looking jump shot. And Cougars junior Jordan Bush was able to sink multiple buckets. Kearsarge as a whole played excellent defense and forced a ton of turnovers, which limited the Cardinals' scoring chances. Besides the field goal from junior Sidney Miller, Stevens' offense struggled. After eight minutes, the hosts were up 19 to four. During the second quarter, things seemed to change. The Cardinals started to show some life and began limiting their turnovers. Their offense also picked things up as seniors Carrie Farrow and Jenna Pond got on the scoreboard. And Sydney Miller put in nine points with five at the free throw line. Fouls definitely hurt the Cougars, and Meg Roy was soon forced to take a seat with three. While Stevens managed to climb back into the game, Kearsarge sophomore Tori Andruski was there to keep the visitors at bay as she threw in six points in the paint. At halftime, the Cougars held the lead with a score of 28-21. Coming out of the break, both teams suddenly struggled on offense. There was only a combined nine points scored in the third quarter, with four coming from Steven Sidney Miller and two from Cougars Roy. So by the time the fourth rolled around, the lead had been cut to just six. Once the final frame kicked off, Cardinals junior Ellie Grenier sunk a J from the left wing, which cut the deficit down to only four. But this was as close as the visitors would get. Kearsarge senior Meg Roy finished the night off strong with nine crucial points. And her teammate junior Livy Hernan grabbed a rebound and went back up 4-2. While Stevens carry Farrow and freshman Zana Rice threw in points, the Cardinals came up short in the end with a final score of 47-35. The Cougars' strong defense simply forced too many turnovers, and the team shot the ball at a very high level. Kearsarge's senior Meg Roy led all scorers with 21 points, while Stevens' junior Sidney Miller was right behind her with 19. After the game, we spoke with Cougars head coach Keith Roberts and with Meg Roy and Caroline Camp to hear what they had to say about the matchup. We started out really quick tonight. You know, our pressure was big for us early. That was one of our goals to pressure them and get up the floor and cause turnovers. And we made a lot of shots early, which was great for us in transition. That's what we're trying to do more of. In the second quarter, we kind of got away from that. We weren't making shots, so it was hard to get into pressure. In the third quarter, we just hung in there. We hung in there. We played tough. We couldn't make shots till the end and we, you know, we were able to, to spread them out a little bit in the fourth quarter and, and get some easy baskets going towards the rim. So the kids gutted it out. Super happy with the effort. Caroline Camp, number 23, did a superior job on Sid Miller, number 11. She's one of the kids we keyed on tonight. She's just tough going to the basket with her left hand and you know, she'll shoot that three from anywhere, and it's Caroline's job tonight to get up on her and stop her, and I thought she did a fantastic job with that. Offensively, Meg Roy was big coming down the stretch, big early for us, made a lot of shots in the fourth, was big for us. And overall, I think our defense was decent tonight, and that's a credit to what we did, you know, as a group. I mean, I think everybody that played gave us a spark. Ellie Camp was huge coming off the bench and giving that effort, which is what we needed for a spark there in the third quarter, and she gave that to us. Huge win for us tonight. It gets us to seven wins. It's gonna get us in the tournament after that win, which was huge. Our you know, tenacity and being able to stick with it was huge for this group. You know, We get into the tournament first time in two years, so it's a great experience. I'm proud of the girls. I think our team actually did really well getting up in people's faces. We were all over the place in the beginning. We really got up 
And we were focused on tip steals all day and just finishing at the rim, which I think we did really well at tonight. I think everyone played really well. Obviously, you know, we, we put Caroline Camp on Sid and she does such an amazing job on defense. And Jordan Bush hit some really key shots and our bigs are always huge off the board. So I think it was a full team effort. This win is huge for us. You know, we, we didn't even make the playoffs last year, our first year in D2. And to come out this year and get seven wins and to make it into the tournament, it's just huge for me as a senior. So I think tonight we did a really good job shooting the ball. I mean, Meg Roy was unstoppable. She was like a walking bucket. But yeah, I thought we shot the ball really well. I mean, our rebounding was kind of off, which kind of killed us, and then our fouls. But I mean, that'll happen. We pulled out the win, which is good, so. I thought Jordan also shot the ball really well. Ellie played some great defense. In the beginning, we had some really good rebounds from our bigs. Beating Stevens is always awesome. I mean, to go into 2-0 against them on the season is great. And this win was big. We needed to get in the playoffs, and hopefully we'll have a good playoff run. Here, Sarge improves on the season to 7-10, and 10, while Stevens falls to 5-13. and 13. The Cougars will look for their eighth win of the winter when they wrap up the regular season next traveling to take on the Plymouth Bobcats.